As much as spring weather is anticipated across the Commonwealth, what homeowners are not looking forward to is the start of flood season. A key component to flood protection in Lycoming County is kind of wearing out now, and officials there say that they are doing everything in their power to try to find a solution. Eyewitness News reporter Morgan Parrish digs deeper into the problem. She joins us live from Williamsport tonight. Morgan. Nick, good evening. The levee that surrounds the greater Williamsport area is in need of some serious repairs. And now city officials are challenged with coming up with a lump sum of money in order to get it fixed. This flooding is what the 18 mile levee is intended to prevent. It runs through Williamsport to Loyal Sock, as well as going over to South Williamsport. The problem is, after 60 years, it's falling apart and requires some heavy reconstruction. It protects up to $4 billion of assets. Relief wells, cross pipes, and the eye wall all need to be fixed to avoid the region being flooded out during heavy rains or fast snow melt. Floods after levee breaches are bad. Even if it doesn't breach, they may be required to carry flood insurance, where right now they're considered protected by the levee. And that possibility scares homeowners here. Well, pretty obvious. <clears throat> I don't want to lose my home. You can't get flood insurance that you can afford. That levee protects hundreds of homes in this community, and for any reason that that levee would fail, this whole street would be flooded. County commissioners say they need roughly $7 million to repair the levee, money they just don't have. Right now, they only have $2 million in hand, which is why they headed to Washington, D.C. to present their case to people from the White House for federal funding. We've put up a lot of money to, to get this accomplished. Uh, they see that, and hopefully they'll open up their purse, too. Not only homeowners are at risk. 24 of our top largest 50 employers are in that area. So the levy is key to not only job uh, and economic growth in the future, but sustaining what we have now. Commissioner Jack McKernan says so far they've gotten money from the state, locally, and they're hoping to get some private investment money, all with hopes of beginning the repairs as soon as within the next 12 to 24 months. In Williamsport, Morgan Parrish, Eyewitness News. Those homeowners can't uh, wait for that, that's for sure. Morgan, thanks. And uh, the $7 million that Morgan talked about is for immediate repairs. Total cost overall to repair the entire levy, though, is nearly $16 million.